When I grew up in Mexico, there was nobody to repair my instruments, whether it was the guitars or the amplifiers. So stick a fork in a toaster, pretty soon you find out which way the electrons go. Frequency, oscillation, that's the glue that holds the universe together. So every time a guitar player plays a note, he is in tune with the physics of the universe. Doesn't get any better than that. When I first started playing guitar, I was listening to The Ventures. And The Ventures had an interesting concept. How about playing melodies? Okay. So I learned to play melodies, and I realized that the trick to a good melody is only play the melody. I mean, yes, you can rephrase it, you can mess around with it a little bit, but the trick is articulate the notes. The notes were written in a melody for a particular reason. And that kind of gave me a rule of thumb. I'm an old guy. So I've been around guitars for a long time. I suppose it's like a cowboy. You know, you've been around cattle long enough, you figure it out how they think. So I've kind of figured out how guitars think. Understanding the, the science of the instrument, how it's made, how it responds, what it's supposed to do, uh, that for me, uh, I think it's a part of my guitar playing. I've had a slightly different career. I, most people start out in the military and then have a career and go up. I did it the other way around. I started having a great music career and then started doing things for, uh, for the US government. A radar is just an electric guitar on steroids. The physics is the same, the science is the same. So once you understand the basic uh, tenets of the science and the physics, it really doesn't make any difference where you go. It's just a, a different manifestation of what you could do with electrons. I love my country. I'm not into the political side, I'm into the national security side. I'm into just trying to create a situation where everybody that I know can play the guitar anytime they want, can make music any way they want to do it. And for me, it's, a, it's an honor and a privilege to be able to hopefully contribute just a little bit to creating a, a place where people can do that. I've been a studio musician for over 50 years, and being a studio guy, you've got to pretty much be able to uh, play any style that, that's called for. I think style has a lot to do with phrasing, and phrasing has a lot to do with understanding how you speak. Uh, everybody has, when they talk about speaking style, every guitar player, every instrumentalist has a way that they phrase things. I guess my favorite of all guitar sounds really is to plug directly into the console. There's just something about a nice, clean, straight ahead, no effects, so nothing guitar sound. And uh, that's a lot of that I use on the Steely Dan records because I like the really clean guitar sound. I started working with Steve and Brendan and the folks at D'Angelico. Uh, first of all, it's like somebody saying, hey, how would you like to uh, be involved in building a new GT500? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think I'd like to do that. I don't know what it is about this box. Uh, the whole, just the, the design of it, the headstock is much bigger than normal guitars, which means it sustains longer. It's it just 
all the combinations. The man knew what he was doing. And uh, I got to hand it to uh, D'Angelico. They've done a beautiful job of reproducing the magic of the instrument. 